Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn another lesson in, in your English grammar lesson 10. Okay? Grammar lesson 10. Okay? Then the heading adjectives of comparison. Adjectives of comparison. And we had learned what is an adjective in the previous class. What is an adjective? Adjectives is a word that used to Describe more about a noun. Okay, describing nouns. And degrees of comparison when you are coming in. How many kinds of comparisons are there? There are three degrees of comparison. Three degrees. Okay. So, which are the first one? Positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. First one is the positive degree. Positive degree means that is the base form of the verb okay so see the example on the board sam is a strong boy what kind of boy is he strong so i underline the word strong that is the adjective okay it is the positive degree there is how many persons are there only one person okay sam is a strong boy now coming to the second one Comparative degree. What is that? Comparative degree. Comparative means comparing each other. Okay. Just like you are having two shoes or two socks or more than two dress like that. Okay. So we will learn one by one. See, comparative degrees. That means always we used to compare with the two things. Okay. And see the example given here. Rohan. He is stronger than Sa. How many persons are there? Two. It, who are they? Rohan and Sa. Okay. Who is stronger? Rohan is stronger than Sa. Okay. So to make comparative degree by using the same word strong, what did I had added here? Ear. Okay, so here I had added. So that is shows the comparative forms. And also we will add than. Okay, so here and than is coming in which forms? In comparative forms. Okay, is it clear? Now look into the textbook. Some examples are given there. And also underline in your textbook the lines. Positive degree. When we do not make any comparisons, we use the positive degree of an adjective. They are given the example, Sadish is a strong boy. Strong you underline. Pune is a big city. Big you underline. That both words are underlined. That is the positive degree form of the adjectives. Now coming to the second one, comparative degree. When we compare two persons or things, we use comparative degree. Degrees of an adjectives. Okay. Underline that. When we compare two persons or thing. We use which form? Comparative forms. What, how you will make the comparative forms? By adding er and dan in the sentence. <coughs> Strong, stronger. Big, bigger. It is coming there. And also you can see that dan is used. Jogan is stronger than Sadish. Delhi is a bigger city than Pune. Okay. That is the comparative forms. <coughs> Sorry. Now coming to the third tense. Superlative degree. Superlative degree. Superlative. I told you that in the positive degree how many person will be there? Only one person. Comparative forms how many person or thing will be there? Two. Okay. Now, coming to the superlative degrees, it is coming more than two persons. Okay? So, is it clear? So, positive degree, how many persons will be there? Only one person or one thing. Comparative means two person or two things. Superlative means more than two. That means any number it can be. Okay? So, superlative degree forms. See the example given on the board. Dibu is the strongest boy in the class 
Who is the strongest boy? Bebu. Okay. The strongest. So, see the positive degree we use strong only. But when he used in the comparative form, he used year and that. Now, coming to the superlative forms, we are using the and est. What is that? Est. Is it clear? Okay, so see very clearly we can find out positive degree, nothing is there. That is the root word. Comparatives, we are using year and done. And superlative forms, we are using the before the verb. And we are using est, strongest. Okay, Debu is the strongest boy in the class. In the class, there are many boys, not only one or two. Okay, that's why we used superlative forms, the strongest. Is it clear? The strongest. Okay, now look at the example given in your book. Naaman is the strongest boy in the class. Naaman is the strongest boy in the class. Candlelight, the strongest. And Mumbai is the biggest Indian city. The biggest, you underline. So, that are the superlative forms. Okay? So, if, but when you are using some of the words, we have <coughs> made some changes. So, one after the other, you have to learn that. Okay? Now, just have a look on it. See the following are the ways which we form comparative and superlative forms. Look in your textbook so it is easy for you to underline. Answer very clearly. Most adjectives add ER to form comparative and EST to form superlative. Underline that. ER to comparative form and EST to superlative. That one only I showed on the board. Okay, here for the comparative we use ER. And for the superlative, we use EST. Okay? Then, second rule. For that, the example, strong, stronger, strongest. Then, adjective sending in E at R to form comparative and ST to form superlative form. See that. Nice, nicer, nicest. Late, later, latest. So, comparative form, there is only R is used because the last letter is E. And also, in the superlative forms, the last letter is E, so used only ST. Okay? Nice and nicest. Okay? Late and latest. Is it clear? Now, third rules. Adjective sending in concern and why change Y into I R. We never use Y there. Instead of that, we will use I E R. Okay? To form comparative superlative forms. Like lucky. See the difference? Luckier, luckiest. There is no Y is used in the comparative form or in the superlative forms. Heavy, heavier or heaviest. Okay? So, instead of Y, what we will use? I. Don't forget that. Always you will make mistakes there. That's why again and again I am repeating that. We are not using Y in the comparative form or in a superlative form. Instead of that, which letter we will use there? I. Okay. So, luckier, luckiest. Heavier, heaviest. Okay. Is it clear? Then, See the next rules. Adjective sending in vowel. How many vowels are there? Five. Which are they? A, E, I, O, U. Okay. How many vowels are there? Five vowels. Which are they? A, E, I, O, U. Then, adjective sending in vowel plus Y. Add E, R to form comparative one. E, S, T to form superlative. Okay. Like a gray Grayer, grayest. Okay. Then, coming words with a single consonant at the end, double letters are used.
like bigger bigger we had shown in the example okay now hot hotter hottest wet wetter wettest okay so the letters are doubled doubled means we had to use two letter okay like a hot the last letter is t you have to use one more t like a hotter then for the superlative forms t e s t hottest words having more than two syllables use more to form comparative and the most form to form superlative syllables means the words that we are breaking it we have learned in your reader so the same thing only coming here like difficult how many syllables are there difficult two two syllables okay that one we will change into more difficult and most difficult we will use more for the comparative forms and superlative forms most careful how many syllables are there two care full care is one syllable full is the another syllable so we will use more careful and then in the superlative forms most careful okay so there are many examples given in your textbook you go through it and read it see the difference for the good we will never tell gooder and goodest instead of that we will tell better and best old older or elder we will use oldest and eldest we will use okay then far farther or further we will use comparative forms superlative forms farthest and furthest okay see the difference farthest and furthest for the bad just like good we won't tell badder and baddest instead of that what do you will tell worst worst okay little less least many much we will tell more or most okay is it clear you have to read your textbooks and find out all that okay and then you can do your exercise given in your textbooks now turn to the next page and see some of the rules are given there only you read that rules already i had explained to you the same thing only coming here okay when we want to suggest equality that means like comparing two things tuji is as pretty as her sister we will use as okay then we often use the word than with the comparative forms i have i have told you that in the comparative forms we will use that hotter than heavier than bigger than stronger than all that words then we have to use the word the for the superlative that also i had explained you the strongest dibu is the strongest da is using in the superlative forms the same thing i had already told you that then both little and few mean the same okay little rice a few people like that we met it. there is a little milk in the glass there is, there were few students in the class okay literally we will use for the uncountable nouns okay countable nouns and the uncountable nouns when we learned about the noun i had told you that okay little shows always the uncountable things like a milk oil water all this and there were few students in the class we can count the students so it is a few things are used okay these are the things you have to learn about it then like a much and many also the same thing we will use much for the uncountable nouns and many we use for the countable nouns okay much we will use for the uncountable nouns and many we will use for the countable nouns okay there is much rice in the bowl we cannot count the rice okay there is much sugar in the bottle okay there were many books in the library in the books library we can count it so it is used many so these are the main points you have to learn about it okay so there are how many forms of adjectives there are three forms comparisons first one positive degree second one comparative degree and third one superlative degree for comparative forms we will use er than for the superlative forms 
we will use the and est okay then read your textbook and do the exercise that is given there sana ichi fast ko